tell her actually listen now i i have decided that i have to give you a certain lip color whenever i come and sit on fella because gossiping is not a joke gossiping about what people are up and about is not a joke but this show is for you and i when i say fella you just have to go into the comment section as you are watching and just put the fire fire emoji there like fella like, you know you know hype me up so i can tell you the things that are happening like it's for you and i so you have to hype me up so let's start with a big story now did you know that sakodia has played a show back to back in the in, in london like listen sakodia had a show at outer net where the composers and the show was an independent show so sakodia played fifth match and you know we loved the sakodia 2000 capacity outer net he has done it but but they realize that listen the place is full people are still at the back end trying to get to buy a ticket so why don't we do a day two for them and then and they sit match and the place was full again now my, my, my one question is that is Sakodia going to use this as an evidence that there are people and more audience for him who are willing to patronize him if he decides to take it to the arena it's not me, oh. I'm just hoping that Sakodia will see this as an evidence because, Charlie, there are so many other um, countries in London that love Sakodia. I'm sure most of the African countries, if you want to mention rappers that, that they've heard before from Africa, there's no way they will take Sakodia out. So if Sakodia wants to really push and say, I am going to the O2 Arena in London to go and shut the place down, I think you should use this as a sign to see that it can happen. Obede, Obede, with a trust. <laughs> Go for it. Now, another big thing that's also happening right now is um, another band of Mwahate, Women of Valor, on 8th of March, which is the International Women's Day, and then there was a conference where people, ladies, women, came to talk, they came to share their stories of bravery and confidence. And Omotola, if you know Omotola, Omotola is an actress from Nigeria. And Omotola said something in an interview with Dorina Fi. According to Omotola, um, hey, I'm, I'm your <laughs> so according to Omotola, it's about time Americans stop using Americans to cast as Africans in their movies. If you didn't hear what I said, let me take it again. Stop casting Americans as Africans in movies. I think it's about time too because listen you can't tell me that if Ghanaians want to or if uh, netflix or whichever content creator or videographer comes to africa and they want to shoot a show that has a white person they would rather train or they'll they, 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 they create a white a black woman an african to look like a white person or force it to sound like a white person just to give the idea that of free america so why is it that whenever you want to do content or you want to shoot a movie that has Africans, there are so many amazing African characters. So why are these casting directors hell-bent on using these particular uh, Americans and then making them change their voice? And according to her, they even sound ridiculous when they are saying the African, they are using the African accent. What stops you from actually scouting and getting the right African to fit the profile? Now, on the other hand, yeah, African, it's not really necessarily about how we speak. It's about how we look, actually. Because when you go to different parts of Africa, we speak, we speak differently. When you even go to some parts like South Africa, there are even pure white people in South Africa. They are Africans. And they even speak differently than us. When you go to other parts like Kenya, and there are tones. Every, every country in Africa has a different tone. So it's not necessarily about the, Af the, the, the way the person sounds, but it's about their skin tone. So if they are able to get somebody in America that fits the skin tone profile as an African, why would they stress and come to Africa to come and look for somebody to come and Yo, it doesn't really matter because what you would think as the standard of how an African sounds, if we take that same standard to another part of Africa, it doesn't sound the same. So you can, we don't have one, like what you say, even Americans, they have different types. They are, they are, they are the way they speak. There are so many types. We have the, <laughs> so, you know, Southern accent, those kind of things. You will know the difference. Same for Africa. So let us not put ourselves in the boys, but let's just encourage. I get a call. Let's just encourage that they should come for more Africans add to their movies who will bring their, you know, the 
original African film. When, when, when African is doing something, what's the name? The local dialect film. You get it. it Give you that thing. An American trying to impersonate an African might not be able to do that. But they are also doing what they are doing, and it is working for them. If it's not working, we can ask them if he broke, why fix it? Now, still on the stories, feel like you are banning the same woman. Be on Luna, only can they age upon what they face on Instagram. No, they see our worry and our war. In fact, she's the first lady to marry and then do a, a billboard of the marriage. Hey, our railway woman, our railway woman, say, and do a rapture, rapture, and say, our railway, hey, I'm going to be sure I'm going to this lady. Hey. If rapture doesn't separate them, I don't know what can separate them again. If it is not, in fact, the only thing that can separate these two people right now, as we see it, per their posters and their billboards after marriage, is rapture. Aside that, nobody, nobody. Now, another big thing is that that's happening in the industry is that the same Omotola, I told you that she's in Ghana for an event, and she's saying that don't argue with your parents when they tell you about your partners. And to more guests now, my papa boy is not much room cross and cross out, Bob Bob, so now I want to say, where are you all world? And you think I'm in love? This is the current way men are, the millennial gen Z. What's up, mommy? Mommy, open your eyes. Our mothers know. Our fathers know. So according to your motto, stop the rough. Open your eyes when they tell you that this guy, oh, wow. She, according to her, 80% of the time they are right. And if you're a man and you've got to pick a woman, your mother is telling her, hey, Kofi, I'll buy you a way. You're going to throw one in a tone. Then I'll send you all the people to the wow. Open your eyes, look past the nyash, and make sure that you are selecting a good life partner. Because some of you, you think wife who cannot help your daughters do mass at home. It's why I'm going to ask you. I shall have four lady. And of course, Ghana for the you know us. Even when we are sad, we are happy. Somebody in that shower did a voice note and sent to Stoneboy on his WhatsApp says, Oh no, I question New York. I'm right here with a chamber for only some brother in the beauty. And yes, sir. Oh no, I shower to the world of it. <laughs> but Stoneboy put out a beautiful piece where, you know, he didn't either condone or support the brutality of the soldiers against his people, Ashaman. And he also did not condone what Ashaman did to the soldier guy that was murdered. However, after you have put out this beautiful piece that everybody's, you know, applauding you for how the position you took, Stoneboy went to do a video, live video, any just say, hey, people are saying, have you seen that? I saw the video, Stoneboy, the thing Stoneboy said, now the part I even saw and even decided to share was the part where he even said that, and I am, am, you know, sort of agreeing with the premises that the guy had gone to be with somebody's girlfriend the night before, which is why he met us on time. They're like, Stoneboy, how can you think like this? This statement that came out was not even an official police statement that this was what has happened. This is somebody merely sharing his opinion. Now, first of all, who put that up? Post? How did that person know? Was he part of the murderers or was he the person that sanctioned the, 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 the assassination? So how would he know that emphatically this is the reason? Somebody has put out a speculation and a whole star like Stoneboy, after you have put out a clean post that actually puts the, uh, the conversation in the right perspective, you come out and you say plenty things. I've been bringing on who here, Charlie. And then finally, you are saying, you are saying that, and I meant to be in Bible Park, I said. So are you saying, my question is, are you saying that the guy, even if that is the truth, that Okodi will be a child, did he have to die? That is my question. But also, that thing that the person wrote, that thing that Musa Amudi or Baba teaching, is unfounded. So how does a star like Stoneboy, like you use that as a co conversation when it is not even an official police report? How is this possible, Charlie? Now, let's move on to another thing. You remember this star? Why Sagar, the guy that went to show things on stage and then he got blackboard by the entire industry, went to court and all. According to him, it wasn't the real thing that he showed. And I was like, hey, when men see dildos in women's house, they are always complaining that women are never started. What is a man doing with a dildo on stage? Because we all thought, say, hey, I something, something. You know, I'll be you staying in here. Yeah. I could say again it's something something. But per what we saw, we saw something. So if it is not a real something, then it is what? I do do one. Another one.
I la reale. If if you think I'm saying comment in the comment section below. Now, um, the comedy industry. I think it is one industry that have always had small small problems. I'm only showing them because you know their job is to make people happy, so they don't want to come off as they are they themselves. They are fighting among themselves. But previously, before this, the new face, which is the Lexi and the uh, Obi and Ponsa face, now that we are experiencing that like, BKB era, they talk about BKB. Hey! On this guy, David Oscar, they can fight on radio and this person. And I just say, trivial in Tokwankwa. So it means to me, it's been a while since I heard that with Timmy what coming in the comedy industry. I mean, maybe amongst them, they experience it daily. But like for it to come out to the public eye, you don't really do you see that. Until recently, there was a Twitter space with these comedians and Charlie. When you see people who laugh and they are always making you happy, don't think they don't have another side. Though. Charlie, Clemento Suarez sees the opportunity to dress the address or dress DKB. Who said that he where was he when they were fighting against Tata? And then they the Clemento, hey, I'm telling Clemento Suarez, they just say, Oh no, Okla records. <laughs> he gave the records and told DK, you can't talk. Hey, I was listening, I was quiet. I was like, mm. So the way this guy is always laughing, it's, it's all like, it's a not joke, oh. but I am glad that Charlie, people have to let people know that it's not always that the conversation is like this. Let us draw, draw. Let us make the conversation good. Let us put the conversation in a positive perspective. Don't make it look like it was just one person who suffered to, uh, um, and then he sacrificed, saved the industry. More people went through, more people became some form of a lab for another people, another group of people to also excel and build on it. Let us appreciate everybody in the chain and not make it look like only one person is the messiah and only one person has a final say in the industry. Now, just in case you are having a feeling or the penchant of telling your friend a secret, please go and look for that picture of Tracy Wache. Hey, no, no, it's not Tracy Wache. That picture. Of Miss Bell, a fear shots nigger and tornado sitting together at a funeral in a picture. Whenever you have that feeling of telling somebody your secrets, go and look for that picture. On that note, this has been fill a all fill a comment in the comment section below. And please follow me on all social media platforms at TV Kenipa. If there's something you don't agree with me, comment in the comment section below. And if there's anything you have to do, please do it now.